Hi, my last video I said uh, I would put a demonstration of uh, me channeling artwork. So I am going to do that right, <clears throat> right now. Uh, I don't know if I'll finish something today, but I'll play and show you how it, I do it. I'm just deciding my colors as I go because I forgot to set up my art, <clears throat> my paints before I started this tutorial. I guess that's what you would call it, a tutorial on how to channel artwork. So I'm just going to play. The colors I'm using um, are oranges and blues. That's what I've been using for a few days. Um, they are it, orange is for healing energy for the solar or the sacral chakra and the sacral chakra is the second chakra up and it's your creative energy and the blue is kind of more like a turquoise so it's like the thymus um, which is the chakra between the throat and the heart chakra so it's got like greens and blues so the heart chakra is uh, green the throat chakra is like a, a blue and then the thymus connects them. The thymus is the head of the immune system. So those are the two colors I'm using. So the painting, um, when I channel my, my guides, uh, channel healing energy through my chakras, usually the colors of the chakras are what uh, healing energy is gonna be transmitted uh, through to the painting. So I'm just mixing my paints right now. Oh. Kind of making a little bit of a mess. Now I add a little bit of matte medium to my paints to, uh, so that they doesn't dry as fast. I use acrylic paints. Um, sometimes I use high quality. Uh, that's what I prefer. It's um, just the colors have more pigment. So today I'm using golden, but uh, you don't need to run out and buy high quality. Um, I mean, there's uh, lots of um, student grade paints that work just as well, um, especially if you're starting out and that way you won't be afraid to kind of just let go and waste paint as well like so this is my process um playing that's all i do is just play so i play and then eventually something shows up that's the whole key i never listen to music some people do I find that if I listen to music and, um, well, with anything you create, if you listen to music and it has words, your mind goes to the left, the left side instead of the right side brain. And your right side brain is your uh, creativity. And when you have words, your brain switches to the left side. Like right now, because I'm talking, my brain's switching over to the left side. So I'm going to stop talking so I can get in my right side of brain and um, I'm going to ground myself and get into the now moment, into the state of joy and then call in my guides to uh, channel healing love through me and, and uh, creativity. So just con it's connecting with the universe and allowing the universe to work through you. To create.
This is just a spray bottle of water. I use it uh, quite often. I use water and t-shirts. This tool I'm using is my shoe brush. It's my favorite paint, painting tool. So all you really need to paint is uh, some uh, a canvas, a few paints from the dollar store, and a shoe brush, and you'll be all set. So I'm just doing a quick painting here. If something shows up, that's great. If nothing shows up, that's great too. I have fun no matter what. You can't really tell uh, when you're this close to the painting if something's working out. So artists usually take a step back um, about five feet or so um, so they can see how it's turning out. I do that quite often because um, when you're up close you can't really see what is going on. So I like where it's going. I'm feeling like I've probably worked on this canvas about, oh, maybe five or six layers of paint, six, five or six times. Keep dropping stuff. Um, most of my artwork has a lot of layers underneath it. So I'm just going to take a step back again.
I'm getting that this uh, this painting is um, has a lot of healing energy for the throat chakra and not having a voice. Um, my guides are starting to come in and give me information. Um, I'm kind of getting the name Hidden Lies or something about truth. So I'll just keep going and see what else they uh, tell me about it. Um, the tool I'm using right now is to paint is uh, a Q-tip. So I'm just scraping back because I see something appearing here. It's kind of a figure shape, but it's kind of standing out to me. I don't have any particular brushes. I guess I have uh, two brushes that are actually like professional brushes. Everything else kind of... I just use whatever. I don't worry about what brush. or I don't really have any technique kind of that. I just go with it. I don't get caught up with technique or I just play. Yeah, this has a lot of <clears throat> stuff for the throat chakra. Not having a voice. Kind of like a man uh, standing in the shadows and um, a lot about taking your somebody's power. Um, and then the sacral chakra is your sexual energy and your creativity. Um, this one, they're telling me that this one has a lot of healing energy in it. Oh, I don't even know if you can see the painting. You see the man standing in the shadow? It's like got a lot of um, healing energy for, um, I'm getting like it's a, for, I mean it could be for men or women, but like a um, dominance of when uh, females have been dominated um, by male energy and felt helpless and it's uh, been many uh, areas like physical, mental, emotional abuse, um, sexual abuse. Uh, this would be healing for any kind of abuse where you've been dominated or manipulated um, by someone is what the the guides are telling me right now. They're, they, they channeled the healing energy. Um, for uh, the sacral chakra, 
the throat chakra. Um, let me just ask them some more questions. So it's, uh, what? so I'm just going to channel for a second here so I can get some more uh, information on this painting. Okay, so I'm just channeling silently. I'll just be a second. Uh, it has healing energy in it for the sacral chakra, the solar plexus, that's your personal power, the solar plexus. The sacral's um, orange, it's the second chakra up. Here, I'll get up and show you. So the second chakra up, kind of just uh, about four fingers below your belly button. It's the sacral chakra, and that's um, your creativity, sexual energy. It's The color in it is orange, and the color in this is orange. And then the next chakra up is um, uh, yellow. It's the, your solar plexus, your personal power. So it's uh, regaining your power after um, somebody has manipulated you. Uh, or um, like, like kind of like a controlling, somebody's controlled you or manipulated you. I'm getting that it's a male dominant energy. Um, so it's like the male dominance, uh, to the, if, uh, dominating female energy, but it can go vice versa. I don't get too caught up in, um, in the, if it's male or female, it's, it's for both. Uh, it's just saying that the, the guides are telling me that this painting has healing energy in it for anybody who's been, um, dominated, manipulated, or controlled by someone with uh, through mental abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, uh, emotional abuse. Um, there's a lot to the throat chakra and the thymus. Uh, the thymus is, uh, I explained that earlier, that's turquoise, it's right here, the head of the immune system. And um, the throat chakra is just when you didn't have a voice when somebody was taking your power. So it's clearing any energy through there to to give a voice uh, back. Also, the th the th uh, third eye and the crown chakra, and that's your connection, like your psychic, um, your intuition is your third eye, and your crown chakra is your connection to the divine. So it's just clearing out those so you can see better and um, connect um more closely with your with the universe or with divine guidance now the name of this painting i'm getting they're saying something about hidden truths um i get a few names uh i can see through your lies hidden truths um or untold truths uh i think i'm going with uh I can see through your lies, but that could change by the time I get upstairs and take another, take a photo of it. And uh, sometimes I'll get more information and the name will change. Usually the name, they'll give me um, a few options with the name and I'll play with the words a little bit. Sometimes it'll be a word that I don't know what it is and I'll look it up on the internet and then maybe make up a name from that one word that they gave me. Um, I will... Uh, go see see what I come up with I'm gonna go up and take some photos of it I might have to work on it some more so it's like a man standing in the shadows I kind of like it it only took I mean there's like I don't know a lot of layers underneath each layer has healing energy in it um, and then this final product I don't know if it's just 
because I decided to make a video. I asked my guides, can you make a quick one? Because I want to put it on video, so maybe that's why it showed up so fast. But um, it only took a few minutes to actually finish it. And um, so the, the point to my uh, video was to show you how to channel artwork. Um, so connect drag tree roots coming at your feet to ground yourself to the earth. Uh, get in a state of now, enjoy everything in the moment, uh, connect yourself to the now moment, don't uh, get out of your head and into your heart, connect with your inner child, get rid of uh, anything fear-based that you're either in the past or the future, and neither of those exist. Get into the now moment, start playing, and as you play, you'll connect to the universe and you'll start channeling um, beautiful paintings through your through your play and uh, and uh, I just I don't want anybody to get discouraged not to try uh, artwork or music or writing um, I mean you can uh, channel everybody that ha does any talents or um, they're all channeling when you bake bread you're channeling love into to the food before you feed it if you you know read a story to your child you're channeling love into the story so uh, don't get discouraged play have fun and um, and know that everything you're you're doing uh, is uh, guided and uh, and don't be afraid to try anything thanks for watching have a good day